For the next few weeks, we are exploring Malaysia. And we are starting off in one of the best cities in Southeast Asia, Kuala Lumpur. Today we will show you things to do and how much you can get for your money in this city. We've just landed in Kuala Lumpur. We are so excited to be back in this city and show you this city in the next few days. So this video is brought to you by Aerolo and it's how I stay connected in every country I go to. The great thing is the moment I land in a country, I'm instantly connected up using an Aerolo eSIM. And now using my eSIM, I'm gonna book my Grab Taxi to get into the city. Good morning guys, we're gonna go grab some breakfast this morning. So I've been looking for places, I'm obsessed with smoothie bowls. So I've been trying to find one of those using our Aerolo eSIM. And I've just found this place which is five minutes away. So we're gonna go and see if they have the smoothie bowls. They have smoothie bowls, so we've just ordered some and I can't wait. Look how good this looks, it looks incredible. And I went for a hot coffee. I definitely didn't get as healthy option. I've got an egg and sausage muffin with chips for breakfast, which is pretty crazy. I'm doing it anyway, who cares? I'm on holiday. Get that sauce on there. That's not even ketchup. Is it not? Oh no, that's chili sauce. <laughs> I thought it was ketchup. <laughs> Guys, the food we just had was so good. I definitely recommend that, Fika Coffee Roasters. And it cost about 10 pounds for both of our stuff. But in London, that would cost you 20 pounds plus. So it's a pretty good deal and so, so good. One of the best ways to get around the city is using Grab, which is like a taxi, like an Uber. And if you've got your Aerolo eSIM, then you can easily just auto grab wherever you are in the city. So we've just ordered one and we're three minutes until we get picked up. Hello. So we have just arrived at Batu Caves, which is basically like a cave temple here in Kuala Lumpur. Well, just north of Kuala Lumpur, hence we had to get the grab. So let's go check it out. Oh, wow, we can already see it. I'm not looking forward to these steps. We've been using the gym back at our apartment, which we'll show you later. My legs are so sore, so not looking forward to all those steps above us. These limestone cliffs look like Thailand. This is crazy. And this is just outside Kuala Lumpur, like so close to the city. I'm kind of nervous because there's a lot of monkeys here and we are really actually quite scared of monkeys because they always try to take our stuff. And one time they ripped Joel's bag in Bali. There's a monkey. That was quite mental. The monkey just came in and ripped that bag of bananas off that girl. So we have to walk up all these steps to the top. And apparently this is like a pilgrimage thing for Hindus because it's a Hindu temple. It's also believed to be 400 million years old, the actual caves, not the colorful steps. That's <laughs> quite crazy. We have just started the walk up. There's 272 steps, quite a few. Good job we've been at the gym, eh? So we're entering this massive cave now, and honestly, it's huge. I had no idea. So we are right at the end of the cave now, and there's basically like this little Hindu temple here. A great thing about this place is it's also free to enter, but if you want to donate money, you can, as it is a religious place. For girls coming here, it's important to be respectful of the religion, obviously, and I think you need to cover like your leg. I thought you had to cover your shoulders, but I've seen a couple of girls with their shoulders out, and you actually can rent like scarves here. You're being attacked. <laughs> Wow guys, we've come down and I'm honestly sweating so much. It is so hot. Highly recommend coming early. It opens at like 6 a.m. But get here before nine and hopefully it won't be as crowded and it will be cooler. Instead of taking a grab taxi back, we're gonna use the public transport because it's also a really cheap, affordable way to get around the city. So we just picked up some food from Raw, which is basically like a healthy food little restaurant. And look how good this looks. In London, this would cost like eight to 10 pounds just for one meal, but this only costs less than five pounds for both of us. But let's dig into this and make sure we're feeling healthy. This is Ceylon Suites, and this is basically a big apartment block full of loads of different studio places. And honestly, we have loved staying here. This is our second time staying here as well. We've got like a big kitchen here, which is really useful if you want to cook some food. I actually got drinking water, which is really good in Southeast Asia because often you have to buy water, plastic bottles, so that kind of cuts that out. And then over here, we've got an incredible bed, desk, TV, all the stuff you want for a nice, comfortable stay. And then the best thing, of course, is this view. Out here, we've got the Twin Towers. You can only see one of them at the moment, but then the big KL, what's it called? I think it's the KL Tower. Anyway, it's really tall and you can, can't probably see it. No, we can't see it. Let's just show you the bathroom because obviously you want to see that. 
lovely modern bathroom with a shower, sink, all that stuff, loads of storage if you want to stay here longer term. And a so, toilet. And Yeah, it's got a toilet and a good bum gun. It's such incredible value and we're going to go show you the rooftop pool because it has insane views. You're not even going to believe it. I don't know how they used to do it, travelling without the internet. Occasionally I think I'm a little bit too dependent on being connected because I am so reliant on this. For the past two years, I've been using eSIMs to power my phone wherever I am in the world. Keeping me connected, whether that's using Google Translate, booking a taxi, or even giving my mum a ring. Aerolo are going to solve your problems whilst you're abroad with instant and affordable connectivity to over 200 countries and regions all over the globe. The great thing about an eSIM is that you do not need a physical SIM card. And it's so easy to download with just one single app. And as long as you've got an eSIM compatible device and an unlocked network, then you're good to go. My favorite thing about using an eSIM is that I can still use my British number. So I can receive texts and calls from my family. And it allows me to log into websites with two-factor authentication. I don't know what to do without an eSIM. I highly recommend getting yourself an eSIM with Aerolo and you can click the link in the description to download Aerolo now. Let's go to the rooftop. And this is it, the rooftop infinity pool with panoramic views all over the city, a great place to chill and there's also a sky gym all included within just the £25 a night. Guys, this pool is absolutely insane. Look at this view behind us. Look, Look at this. That. This that is, is the KL Tower. And it's like twice as tall as this building. It's actually insane. So we have freshened up and come back out and we're heading towards the centre of the city to show you around here. This area just outside the city where we're staying in Bukit Silon does feel like quite quiet and there's so many different big skyscrapers and I think they all have pools. It's like a big apartment kind of area. Listen how peaceful it is and we're in the middle of a city. And you can just walk around everywhere. Like some of the other cities in Southeast Asia, they have no paths or they just like park all the bikes in the paths. Whereas this is a beautiful path, great for walking which is important for exercise. Health. I know in Singapore we were talking about how small the buildings are, but that's not true here in Kuala Lumpur because look at the size of that one. That is a monster and that is the second tallest building in the world. So just after the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. We've just arrived at Times Square Mall and if you don't know, they have something really, really unique and fun in this mall. And oh, I can't wait. I'm yes. really excited. You've done it before when you were younger, but it's time to do it myself as well. <laughs> so we have just paid for the theme park for 75 ringgit each. We got unlimited rides in this place. And honestly, there's a roller coaster and it looks incredible. We are about to go on an indoor roller coaster. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> for kids but honestly that big roller coaster is so much fun and we did go on it a few times so this is the incredible value you can get we've come to kgb and this is uh, this is under five pounds this is incredible because in the uk you'd be looking at over 10 quid wouldn't you easily and these wedges honestly are so good they're the best wedges i've ever had so after that meal, we're gonna to head to one of the most famous spots in Kuala Lumpur, and you probably already know, it's the Petronas Twin Towers, so let's go check them out. We're in the KLCC Park, but we're just amongst some trees now, and it should be just through these trees in a minute. These are like the most iconic buildings in all of Kuala Lumpur, I would say. Look at them, and I love the way they sparkle. It's like the Eiffel Tower. To be honest, this Four Seasons Hotel is pretty tall as well. I can't believe it. It's almost as tall as the Twin Towers. I guess it's a lot newer though. Personally, I think Petronas Towers are one of the most beautiful buildings like in the world. And they were the tallest buildings from 1998 to 2004. So for quite a long time. And there's two of them, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, the tallest two. together, I think. <laughs> same height. <laughs> we're just walking back to our place and we saw the KL Tower just here. And we're like, why not go up it? We're going to look up on our phone to see if we can book it right now using our Aerolo eSIM to make sure we can get tickets to go up. Amelia's managed to find a ticket, so we're going to book it straight away. Awesome. <laughs> then we don't have to wait in the queue. <laughs> so we've just reached the entrance to the KL Tower. And actually by elevation, this building is taller than the Twin Towers, which is pretty crazy, but it's because it's on a big hill. Thank you. Okay. 
Thank you. So we're going up to the observation deck, right at the top. The views around the city are incredible. It's kind of hard to capture on camera because there's so many reflections, so you can't really see out. So maybe come in the day and you might be able to see more. We are so high up as well, so you can see like right down onto all the buildings. So one of the other things you can do is go to a sky deck and you have to pay a bit more, but unfortunately it's closed at the moment because there's potential lightning. So obviously we can't do that. This building here is actually where we're staying, which is pretty cool. We're actually really close, but it is pretty cool. It shows actually what an incredible spot in the city we have for where we're staying at just £25 a night. I'll never get over that. That was our time here in Kuala Lumpur. You can just get such great value for money here in this city, whether that's food, accommodation, or even doing some activities. I'm so excited for the next couple of weeks where we're gonna be exploring Sabah in Borneo and going to some incredible beautiful places. Whether you're booking a taxi or using Google Translate, click the top link in the description to download Aerolo now. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.